Hello, my, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this multiplayer game of Ultimate Ruler. No, Supreme Ruler Ultimate. I always get those mixed up. Ultimate I'm Ruler. Bye. Ultimate, Ultimate General Supreme Ruler. Ultimate Supreme Ultimate Ruler. Ruler Supreme Edition. Yeah, that too. <laughs> it would work. It would work. Probably quite well. Speaking of Ultimate General, that's a really good game. You should go buy it. It's on sale, 33% off. Not right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, several weeks ago. But if you're watching it live, that works. So there don't you go. You, don't I, you have that, Bob? What? I thought you did the series on it, didn't you? On, on which one? Ultimate General Civil War. Yeah, he did. I did a Confederacy playthrough oh. until I ran out of men. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen as the Confederates. We just ha is. didn't have enough good old boys from the field to come out and fire the rifles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and during right, the so... break, I was talking about the fact that my inflation has reached 16% and I had a mini panic. Um, trying to work out a reduce it at the moment. Apparently hiking taxes works. I can get behind that. Though it's already 83%. Goddamn social. <laughs> <laughs> You're spending too much on the government. This is a good money. thing. Actually, what's my inflation? I haven't even looked at it, but I'm Germany, so I don't really care. Let's take a look here. Oh, where would 3. you find 3%. Uh, You go like state, state tab and then just click on your country and then just hover over economy. That's how I do it. Oh, finance then hover over the little capital building. 2.6%. Yep, that's how I do it. You get per capita. That's actually a little low. Is... Yeah. Tourism is at 53%. And I have 150% credit rating. <laughs> now don't you rub it in the Netherlands' face. And I have a literacy of 100%. Oh, Wasn't I the think Dutch my literacy like in the 80s. 23% last time we checked. It was no, something it was really stupid. It made me just like go, huh? And it was like, Morgan, what did you do? <laughs> no. <laughs> he burned all the books. Clearly. After the, uh, finance, after the finance minister's affair with Macron's daughter, he then started procreating with the population and generally making them dumber. Yeah. Procreate just, just went out and started banging car. people? Oh my. I actually, actually made more power. Burn all the coal. I don't, I don't, is there any country that actually has that in real life? I think Finland is might. Because the U.S. doesn't. I know the U.S. doesn't even have that. Like it's like, like ninety something percent, but it's it's not like it's not it's at a hundred. Singapore might, because their um, education system is redonkulous. Even the children stay out of the womb have a book in their hands. Exactly. <laughs> it's very efficient. Uncomfortable, but efficient. Yes, yeah, supplies for everyone. Unit construction. Oh, God. It was just warning me I'm not constructing unit. God damn it, game. You're giving me a heart attack. Well, what I've noticed is that every <laughs> once in a while... Oh, it did it again. Every once in a while, the fabricate options reset. You know that message. And, you know that and, message and the, the fabricate the, goes the, back to like on. The side pop-ups when it says, like, oh, we have so many unused, like, slots. You shouldn't agree with that because mm -hmm. that gives that says, hey, we have unused slots. Can I build units? Yeah, you, you need to. Yeah, you. Need I usually to just the, hit the X, and not the to top go away. X. You need to click the disagree or the or the postpone. That's so. That's why you've oh, been okay. having these problems. That's probably the issue. <laughs> you've been given mixed messages. Well, I, I didn't yeah, think you, closing mixed, it was agreeing. Mixed. Yeah, <laughs> stop yeah. building stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, stop it. <laughs> yeah, every, every single so, member uh, of the Polish government is manic the now. One. There is actually <laughs> the fucking military minister in his office going, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> there is one country in the world that has 100 literacy rate. Guess which one it is? It's brilliant. I don't know. Like Liechtenstein? Nope. More ridiculous. The Vatican. Nope. More ridiculous. 
Andorra? More ridiculous. I don't fucking know. What, do you, what is it? North Korea. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's because there's like four people the there. with 99.9, .9, which is probably legit, is Latvia. And then Estonia, then Lithuania. Yeah. Latvia. I wonder how Latvia, they, you, how you they mean gauge future that southern North Russia. Korea. Can you say Kim Jong Un? All right, you can read. Yeah, I <laughs> suspect this is. I suspect this is by official government statistics or something. And North Korea is like, yeah, we can all read, it's fine. This is the, yeah. That's just what North Korea Which is telling is like, the rest okay, of the nope. world. More ridiculous. More ridiculous. I didn't think Liechtenstein or Andorra were ridiculous choices, but. <laughs> You just gotta yeah, play the North numbers. Who's got a small, small population? It's actually no. a fairly large. It would be, yeah, it would be impossible. Well, yeah, in this game, Korea. it has a very well, no, small he's population. Talking real life. <laughs> yeah, real life. No, no. according to Wiki. Oh, okay. I thought we were still talking about the game. We're here. <laughs> it's just, it's just all South Korea. Remember? Yeah, they they got they they finished them off. It's. A, no, oh, I thought they were still a sliver. Oh, wait, did they? Yeah, they did. Yep, all gone. Poor North Korea. Oh, poor North Korea. <laughs> wait. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying try, try to get on the, 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 the side of the, the bad guy. I'm so on you, Ben. <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant in terms Hit of me people less. watching for your massive uh, group of North Korean followers. My, my large <laughs> North Korean following. Uh, I would be impressed if there were <laughs> any, any number of North Korean viewers. What all all seventeen Just people in the country that have, uh, that have how to conquer the world access? And then he kind of orders the population to do it too. <laughs> so you know, could happen. He mandates. Supply depots in your base. Let's get built. I got Russians to kill. Well, I got towed artillery that's almost there. I guess 155 millimeter howitzers. I feel bad for those those artillery crews slogging <laughs> slogging those artillery pieces up up to, to northern uh, <laughs> Sweden. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's actually. Now, I know you guys have made it this far, this far, but I want you to turn around and go back down here. <laughs> oh, God. See, we, if we just hit them where the ships are going by, we can add a little extra oomph. <laughs> it's got this in the chat. I would not be surprised if Kim Jong-un played Hoi 4. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I draw a line here, I mean, and I hit like, go I and win. Yeah! Are aware of like what Saddam Hussein's like battle plan was against Iran, like years and years ago. So it it looked very much like a war battle plan. So it was just like, all right, so here's our plan. We're gonna go and have these guys go along the coast this go. way. These guys will push up through the middle, and then these guys are gonna go here towards Tehran. Ter It'll be a great plan. And then it didn't work. <laughs> didn't, the, didn't the Iraqi Iranian war just turn into like basically trench warfare in the desert? That one, yeah, yeah. It was just like a stalemate. Why are my infantry it's called Futch? Futch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <What? laughs> They're from you. <laughs> Futches. <laughs> all right, all you Futches, get on the line. What'd you just call me? I like watching the, the Russian casualties just slowly trickle <laughs> up as Bob murders people pew, in the pew, tundra. Pew, pew. All right, go futch. God damn it. <laughs> hey, they're, they're in Poland now. I make the rules. All right, let's see if these artillery are actually worth a damn here. Fire! Fire! There you go. Are they doing it? They're kind of. Oh, come on, Splendid Post, get built. 
Yeah, that must be absolutely tanking a supply. I mean, you're you're producing. I mean, the just having the base there is producing supply. Like you have, it's like at a half supply right now. It is, but I want I want to get supply superiority so I can field a lot of units up here and have like superiority over the Russians. And there's a lack of supply through Finland. Until they attack through the coastline. What? No, I'll be fine. Well, I shoot down the Russian planes, damn it. As long as they're... If only... God. If only I could somehow, like, put the Warsaw ship on land, <laughs> then I'd be unstoppable. I'm not the plan of the Yamato. The be the, the plan to beach it and use it as a... Uh... The coastal artillery. Like hey, diplomatic offer from Japan. Interesting timing. They knew we were. Is there their, even their ears? Is were there burning. even a chance that? You, is there even a chance you can win against Russia? Yes, of course. I've beaten Russia before. It's hard. They have a lot of troops, and it's yeah, it's pretty shit terrain to fight through. I mean, in my in my off screen game, it took me twenty years, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually ended up like fighting through the Crimea to do it, but it worked. That's kind of cut off at the moment. Yeah, like ISIL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You think anybody give a shit if I blew up ISIL's capital? No. Wait, blew up how? Um. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be there anymore. Roach, all I'm gonna say is that whatever play you're gonna make, I can't back it. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's ISIL. Are you supporting ISIL? <laughs> I am in the sense that they're not kicking the shit out of me right now. Remember, I struck a peace deal with them. I mean, they have parts of the forgot about that. forming all over the place. My chat says do it, Roach. I mean... It'll be a while. I will. I, I will. I will not condemn the use of nuclear weapons, but I will not support your attack on a populace. That's just civilians. Well, we can't tell the civilians from the military targets. That's that's the problem. Well, you know, that's that's your cross to bear. Did the world stage? I say, was it, isn't that the uh, the the excuse the Allies used for firebombing millions of people towards the end of the war? Why well, are close together? And hey, and hey, look. I thought it had more to do with the fact that they knew that the populace would be, like, gung-ho crazy. In Japan, yeah. In Germany, not so much. Yeah, he's talking, like, in, in reference to, like, Dresden. I thought he was talking about Japan. Uh, both, but, yeah. Ger Germany, it was just like, hey, uh, we're just gonna keep doing what's working in Japan. Napalm. Woo! <laughs> Let's firebomb Dresden. Well, what a, I know, I know a lot. Some people know it, but I know a lot of people don't. But the the, the nuclear bombs were, you know, killed. One of them was what, like seventy thousand. The other one was about a hundred thousand. All said and done, and firebombing killed more in single nights than than the nukes did. Yeah, but it did far more property damage to non-wooden structures. Mm hmm. So that was the big thing about firebombing was that it, it just really wiped out the wooden quarters, so all the old quarters of, of cities, but it didn't really touch the modern stuff that much. Uh, whereas uh, nukes kind of just everything. Yeah, everything gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then kaboom. <laughs> Increasing domestic prices reduces inflation, right? Yes. Okay. The idea is you're trying to get less money out of the hands of your citizens. Mm -hmm. Damn, people have too much money. Ooh, somebody just did. Oh, Midget Man just subscribed subscribe with Twitch Prime. All right, then. Twitch Prime? Oh, my. It's too bad you can only subscribe to one person with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Amazon can only give out so much free money. I know. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deal. If you, if you have the money for Amazon Prime, definitely pick it up. That's yeah, fucking, it is a good deal. It's such a great deal. I think I should recruit some just actual. I've cut infantry. down so many trips to the like, like the grow to the uh, to like 
uh, hardware stores and just basic stores around me just from Amazon Prime just like eh you know I, I, I can get this for five dollars cheaper and I don't have to pay shipping I'll get it in two days <laughs> oh student student account prime too I'm now being like subsidized by like the British education system Woo. Oh. you're welcome the only thing I, I have to say is Twitch Prime oh, uh, I made a mistake their specific uh, like rewards you get, so like the gaming related rewards that you get every month have definitely been going down in quality. Because it used to be like you got like some free games or you got some in game items for very popular games, but now it's more like most of the time you're getting crates for like Overwatch or mm. Uh, there was a couple others. Like, you're getting crates for some popular games, a lot of unpopular games. <laughs> nobody, anything, want, no, nothing nobody wants. Anybody? But yeah. early on, like, I got, I got, I got the, like, uh, the Twitch Prime stuff for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Like, that, that was a whole set of clothes that you can't get anymore. Like, that was kind of cool. Or, I uh, think you got a free game at one point as well. So, yeah, definitely going down in quality. I don't know what the, what's going on with that. I accidentally hit the deploy all button. So now all everybody's just Oops. like, to war! And then as soon as they get out, I'm and like, nah. now, we, now we watch as Poland explodes out into military units. Reserve. And I always, like, scroll back down to Germany to, like, see if there's anything I want to build anywhere. And I keep forgetting that France is a part of my territory. It's just <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> God damn it. So when is this whole nuking of the desert going down? I didn't say it was going down. I just what you, I asked. What, 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 our, what our opinion is on it? Like, I cannot support or condemn the action. I'll watch it and eat some popcorn, but I, you know, that's it. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing it happen. I don't want any part of it myself, but I'll watch. <sighs> What more do you want, Roach? What do you want? We're fighting Russia. Like, there's not much else we can do. How about Russia? You want to nuke Russia? I won't say no. Okay. Well, I, I will support the action. That might be that might be a thing I uh, will consider. Saint Petersburg. I mean, nuking Saint Petersburg. Mm. <laughs> I mean, considering that's like the supply hub for that whole area right there, you know, it would be fantastic. Actually, instead of St. Petersburg, uh, the military installation to the northwest would be the better target. Seaport, land production, naval production, and a barracks. I mean, if, if any of that could just drown in nuclear fire, I wouldn't oh my. shift here. <laughs> Well, I'm you know, Italy, Italy is considering targets and is currently... Uh... <laughs> what do you mean, France? Did you mean Southwest and Atlantic Germany? <laughs> yes, I did mean that. <laughs> Atlantic Germany, I like that. Won't Russia nuke back, my chat is asking. Will they? They're not talking about nuking yes. Russia. Yes, they about... will. You, you start flinging nukes at them, they'll fling ones right back. Whoa, ho, oh, oh, maybe. Bison. I'm really close. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your tits there, Russia. Or not Russia, uh, Italy. I don't know who you are. Who am I? Um, so, yeah, they, they always got planes over here anyway. They're usually around in places. Shit, how do I rename a... A, a hex. I remember doing this before. Uh, you gotta click on the hex. You gotta click the uh, the, the land tab. Right. Then... Do I need a facility built first yes. after the complex? Yes. Facility. Well, the uh, if you have a complex built. What does the uh, what was French it? order do? I rem. I remember. Oh, it entrenches the unit down, so it'll 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 uh. Like, uh, stay still, it won't move, it, it's harder to Defensive dislodge. bonuses. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So if I told everybody- oh, I like that. They, like, go into the military complex if I tell them to do that. I like that. Yeah, and, yeah, and trenching basically, like, they, they're technically reserved, but when they're attacked, they have defensive bonuses, and they just kind of fight from there. So yeah, I could take all the units on the line and tell them to entrench. That'll be good. I have to do it. You shouldn't do it for your anti-air, though. Oh, really? 
you know, it doesn't really matter with anti-air units. Well, get the fuck out of there, bitch. Move to the hunting trench, goddammit. My ships are going home to repair, by the way. But now you have artillery on the road. I don't think you need them quite so much. Yes, good credit rating. Very nice. What's your credit rating? Uh, 149.5%. Why? Not bad. No reason. Why? <laughs> well, you you were get, you were you were hoping yours was higher, weren't you? Yes. By how much? 0.5 percent. <laughs> Half a percentage point. Yeah, 150. Yeah. I think is as high as you can get. So, I mean, yeah, so I have the best credit rating. Portugal did have the best credit rating. What they, what what about Romania? Any, What's their credit they rating? Uh, they don't have one. I wonder why. <laughs> well, they're, they're currently fighting Ooh. for independence, Ben. I don't, I don't see a lot of independent Romanians. They should try harder. <laughs> New alliance formed. Oh, Switzerland and Germany. Okay, I was like, oh, is it ISIS and Russia? No. <laughs> that would be bad. I, I don't ISIS think that they'd even be interested in, in becoming friends. Let's see here. I mean, the the world hates Russia right now. Like, if you just look at the diplomatic relation thing, it's nobody likes them, and nobody likes Syria either. Of course, I suppose that'd make them really good bedfellows, I suppose, at that point. But Somebody just asked why there are Italian units in Poland, and it's there. They're there as, like, a uh, uh, token defense force. Most more, Mostly they're just to show the Italian... They take the Italian flag uh, down every night, and they put it back up every day. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they're there for. Yes, I will sell you food. Is that oh, really expensive God. for you, though? <clears throat> wow. Oh, just a uh, little water down the wrong pipe there for a second. Sorry for everybody listening on my recording. You just heard me coughing for like 30 seconds straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got the end of it. Now the news, Italian Prime Minister found dead today, choking on water. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he was allergic. Russian assassin affected. Assassin's <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't die there because that would have been uh, <laughs> that would have been that would have been embarrassing. All right, so if I take the infantry units I have and entrench them, that would be good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Would be a good time. Yes. Sounds good to me. Good. Who wants to talk to me? Israel, what's up? That's <laughs> who is this Israel? That's a bad deal. You should you should feel bad. <laughs> Well, they came to me, they're like, I would like to sell you... Bob, you watch Rick and Morty, don't you? I do. Because <laughs> I got that. Right there. <laughs> this is something Rick talks about when he gets drunk. Reserved. Hey, in, what, in what way? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, there's about a 40% chance that this uh, neutrino bomb's a dud, but it's just... It's a... <laughs> too many, Morty. Rick! Too many! Too many! <laughs> I'm already how many of these? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I love the scene where they where it cuts to them diffusing it. <laughs> it's just it's just like oh, you put it everywhere. You put it different everywhere, or you put it somewhere different every time. Weird places. What is it like? Morty's become an expert at neutrino bomb diffusal. <laughs> And it'll destroy the planet or the solar system. I don't know. I kind of eyeballed the neutrino bombs in this one. <laughs> I got nothing for this room. Just, just shoot some three pointers. I'm <laughs> making about yourselves or something. That's a three pointer. All right, back to Poland. Whip. It was a good episode. I have to, I have to catch the last one. I didn't, I didn't watch it. Poland get into economy. Kind of. Are there random events like nuclear meltdowns or natural disasters? There are random events, but the only one I've ever seen is like industrial corruption, where you just like lose industrial goods randomly. Yeah, that's the only one I've seen. But 
I was browsing like Steam and uh, GoodOldGames.com because I'm putting together a shopping list for the uh, Steam um, Fall Sale that's gonna be coming up. And um, one of the ones that came across was actually Superpower Two. I know Superpower Two has events like earthquakes and stuff in there. Someone in my chat was suggesting Superpower Two the other day. It's not. A, it's a. It's a lot older than uh, than Supreme Bowl, isn't it? It, it came out the same time as like 2010 came out. Um. But like the the UI looking at it is is even holy more, shit! Uh, Russia bombed one of my units. Yeah, where? Yeah, it bombed uh, it it bombed my infantry unit to the far right of the the line on the that farmstead. CB CB declare war. Yeah, they definitely did that. I watched I watched it happen. I don't have like very much range to my my uh, air defenses, so they kind of just sit there. And hopefully someone flies within range, but they, they start flying around them. Well, they're smart ones. Smart. Actually, I got some... They just they went, to, they went out of their way to attack me. They did. Uh, uh, CB! If I, could, <clears throat> if I could actually get... <clears throat> if I could breathe again, I'd, I'd be a lot more angry. <laughs> Is that that water, water plot against you again? <laughs> no, it's, just, it's still the same water. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Once we get done recording this, I'm going to have a good cough, and I'm not going to blow out my audio, which I think I already did, but I don't want to... I, I can't mute on the fly, so I don't want people to, to hear that. You don't have a mute in your microphone or anything? No, I have a Snowball, not a Yeti, so there's no uh, onboard things for that. That's not a good plan, Ash. That's not a good plan. New. Russia before they can nuke you. They're they have a significantly sized nuclear arsenal. If they haven't nuked yet, they're probably not going to, and nuking them might might just set them off. Oh no, it will. It will set them off. I promise you. I've seen them. I, I've, <laughs> I've I've tested that before. I've seen things. It's, uh, it's it's not pretty. And the worst part is, it's not like in the movies where they just like fire at their pre-planned targets. And like it's, it's like oh we got a new fired at us shoot the U.S. Uh, like it's more that they just use their entire nuclear arsenal on you <laughs> or their enemies. Well, they just use every and, nuke uh, they have, all of them. How many well, cities do you want to hit? They have because they don't have. They have too many nukes for the amount of launching platforms they have. Oh, I gotta cycle so, them in. So they'll they'll do one round of, of nukes and it's just it is it is apocalyptic. Oh, what does a nuclear explosion look like in this game? Is it just a little This mushroom? is how we encircle the Russians and circle the Russians the circle the Russians. This is how we encircle the Russians early in the morning. Are you, are you, that, are you gonna move forward at all or just <laughs> do do that until they run out of people to send to the tundras? A little bit of both. How I get a supply depots to finish so I can get some of that supply out here. That's going to be like crucial. Um, somebody asked how far ahead this is from the the airs for twenty episodes. Yeah, we're we're about two weeks ahead or more. More. Yeah. yeah this is currently episode twenty-seven that we're recording. Hell, I haven't even uploaded last week's session. I think I have up through like 18 uploaded something around there the first two sessions uploaded but the th third session don't have that it's it's edited but I don't have it uploaded all of all of the wood giggity <laughs> the world will take all of my wood I'm trying to become a large ex uh, one of the major exporters of wood but god damn it Canada has a lot of trees <laughs> <laughs> are you are you exporting it like a luxury product or is it just like ah here's some uh, here's some fiberboard from Poland? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm fourth behind Brazil, but the the, the just like leftover waste pulp. Yeah, my production is three hundred thousand tons. Brazil's is seven hundred thousand. So there's a bit there's of some MDF. We just we put some Polish poplar in there and put some asbestos with it, and it, yeah, it works. <laughs> it's mixed blend. It's good, good quality. Yeah, I didn't know that for a long time. I, I worked with uh, MDF board when I did tabletop gaming because it's a good base for terrain stuff. Yep, apparently uses uh, uses asbestos as its glue, or, or, or oh. asbestos as an additive to its glue. 
So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so kids, uh, ventilation. <laughs> oh, Germany. Lots of ventilation when you're working with MDF. Oh, that is funny. Uh, so in under production of of wood of timber, Indonesia is right next to me, and the Indonesian flag is just the reverse of my flag. So it's kind of funny looking in the production in in the the queue there. That's how you're doing it. <laughs> People think they're getting cheap Indonesian wood, but they're, they're just like they just confuse the Indonesian and the Polish flags. Is that the Polish flag? No, no, it's upside down. It's fine. Have you guys seen the picture? It's it, it, it's like a storefront, and it shows the French and Netherlands flag uh, pillows, like their pillows of the, of each of them. And the French flag is two time is like twice as expensive. They have the same dimensions. It's just the French flag is like rotated. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so literally, all you had to do is just turn the pillow 90 degrees and it would be a French or, an, or another flag. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's only one correct one there, though. Dutch flag. Which of those two countries is still alive? That nationalistic fervor. <laughs> Right, new technology. Clean coal tech. I am using a fair amount of coal, so fair enough. No, don't do it. It'll make your coal bad. I did it. Ow. Clean coal is bad for the coal industry. Just gotta, just gotta cut off mountains and put it into fucking power plants. It's good. Well, like the effects, like it, it reduces your your coal generation, and then also your power output too by coal plants. Yeah, but it de but it increases your uh, your domestic approval. But at what cost, Roach? At what cost? Well, I mean, if you're a couple of points away from losing an election, actually, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Really, it's best to just spec into hydroelectric and other power plants. And by that, I don't exactly mean other power other. plants. I mean other is the power that is being made. It's like, like if you look at the model, it's like solar and wind okay. power plants. Like it's, it, it doesn't specify. It's just other. We have a huge coal power. It produces in less Portugal. than all the others, but it's like it doesn't it doesn't increase uh, pollution, and there's more text to make it more uh, efficient as you go down the tech tree. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's good to invest early. I got an election coming. <laughs> Polish election. End of uh, well, it's it's March next year, so that's going to be a while in terms of game time. Well, there's half a billion dollars I don't need to waste anymore. What were you wasting it on? What was that? I was improving relations with the Swiss, and we're out. We've been out of this actually for a while. I just realized I actually still had the support of their government thing on. <clears throat> so I didn't need to give them half a billion dollars anymore. We're at. 33 minutes. Yeah, me, yeah, we are. So thank you everyone for watching. If you are enjoying this so far, then do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, do consider subscribing. If you have any tips or advice for us, let us know in the comments. If you are watching on Twitch, then also consider subscribing there if you want to support the channels or check out the Patreon, which you can find linked in the descriptions below. That's a goodbye from everyone here, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.